what exactly made you decide to write this book now? What was it about your story that you felt needed to get out? Well, you know, it was interesting. You were talking about how I started, and that was fun. And it's an interesting story how you can take two thousand dollars and open a business. Mm -hmm. And I think there had some interesting stories, and, and it was very fun on how that happened. Uh, but I didn't think that was enough of a story to ever really talk about. However, it was much later. It was in two thousand twelve where I had these very interesting situations come up where I was in bankruptcy uh, and uh, going through some personal issues and actually sitting, as I say in the book, uh, in jail mm -hmm. with a DUI. It changes a person. Mm -hmm. Is that why you decided to put it into the book? Because you didn't have to. It was still real to me and what was happening. So I felt it was time to kind of let that out and the reality of how insane that was to happen and then how that affected me and going forward in my life and certainly everybody around me. Yeah. You talk about bankruptcy, you talk yeah. about being in jail, you talk yeah. about this personal tragedy. What is it that you want people to take away from when they read your book? I look at it and say, I, I think it's something that everybody can find something in common with. Wanting to start your own business, as simple as that. Being a kid and having all this energy to start a business, I think it's something that everybody, or a lot of people would have in common and the excitement of all the things and ways that, that can take you in business. Also in our personal lives, the amazing, exciting things that I've had happen in my personal life. And then also our own personal tragedies. Mine are somewhat loud. Some of them aren't as loud as other people's, but they're mine. And I just felt like that whole story together, I think a lot of people might identify with a part of it, not just the business part or the personal side, the tragedy side. There's a lot of really fun, neat things in there too. I just felt like it was time to share it. As you talk about the bankruptcy, uh, personal tragedy, being in jail, why did you decide to write your story now? As I look at my life, that was my lowest point. There had been so many things happening at the time. I obviously I was sitting there with a, a DUI and completely ashamed of how I even allowed myself to get to that point. Um, to a, previous, a week earlier, I was involved with my best friend and development partner, real estate partner, had decided to commit murder. He killed his whole family and he actually then killed himself and then sent me and our assistant um, a note and a key to the house so we could go discover everything and then call it into the police and everything. So that happened the week before and then it was a week later that I had to serve out my two days at Penn City um, after 25, 20 something years of owning Mountainside and I felt like, okay, this is pretty low. What kind of inspiration do you hope people would draw from the book? <sighs> Obstacles, because we all have them. And starting a business is an obstacle, running a business is an obstacle, growing a business is an obstacle. Our lives, just in general these days, our obstacles are filled with them. And how do we deal with them? And I always found inspiration when I heard stories about how people overcame their own obstacles it, in any way, shape, or form. That inspired me. It, it, it kind of kept me able to survive. How is this book lending itself to community and making this a better place to live? Well, I never really wanted this to be anything about necessarily me, but about a story, the story. It's a true story, but the story. And the results if people find that interesting and share it or buy the book, all the proceeds are going to two charities that I'm very close with. One is Make-A-Wish and the other one is uh, MDA. So where can people find the book? Well, it'll be for sale on Amazon and you can also download it digitally on Amazon Kindle as well, and then in the Mountainside Fitness Center's locations across the valley.